All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 60. All right. So like radio buttons, form data for selected checkboxes are name, value, attribute pairs. While the value attribute is optional, it's best practice to include it with any checkboxes or radio buttons on the page. So now we're gonna add a value attribute to each checkbox. And for convenience, we're gonna set each checkbox's value attribute to the same values, pardon me, the same value as its ID attribute. All right. So for this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this indoor value right here. We're gonna copy it with this along with the space. And then after, um, uh, after this personality right here, we're going to drop it off like that. Then we're going to change. We're going to take this and we're going to delete the indoor. Actually, we don't need to do that. It's actually easier if it's still in there. And we're going to uh, drop it off after the personality of the other two as well. Right. So let's do this and let's do this right here. Right. And it's easier because there's mo there's more to click instead of it just being if it's like this, there's less room to click. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now let's take the loving, copy that, and we're going to put that right here. We're going to take the lazy, copy that, double click this, put that right there. Take energetic, double click this, put that right there. All right. And that should take care of business. Let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 61 and we'll see you next time.